Hi guys, Shock Class Media, Sasquatch, sitting here with Arthur Sweden. Um, very famous comic creator, most known for all his zombie covers, he does for both Marvel and DC. Obviously, I'm wearing his fabulous work. I sure. Thank you, sir. <laughs> okay, so at what point in your life did you realize you wanted to do uh, comics? Comics? Hmm. Oh, uh, when I was about five years old, I got burned very badly. And uh, I was in a hospital for a year. And, uh, you know, it's traditional when somebody's in a hospital, you bring them flowers and a magazine for adults. But when you're a kid, my parents would bring me comic books. So uh, that's kind of how I entertained myself when I was in the hospital. Um, so I was, I was in the hospital for about a year. And then when I got out, as soon as I got out, I started just drawing the characters that, that had been reading for a year in the hospital. Um, so around age five. Around age five? Hey. Uh, what's, what's your fascination with the zombies? What's my fascination with zombies? Uh, my fascination with zombies is um, the anatomy, basically. Um, basically, I've always been a, an anatomical artist. Uh, for, for training, I used to, when I was, I, I started taking the sculpture training many, many years ago, and part, part of the training was we got to go to the medical universities in the evening. The doctors had the corpses during the day. In the evening, they would they let the uh, they let the artists uh, have access to, uh, to to the bodies, basically. So we would go in there. I'd go in there and uh, take a sketch pad and basically uh, st study my anatomy and uh, do anatomical sketches. So that's kind of I've been doing that my whole life. Uh, I'd seen. Uh, uh, Leonardo da Vinci's anatomical drawings and Michelangelo's anatomical drawings early on. And I, I, I fell in love with those drawings and, uh, and I'll say the wealth of information is that you study the anatomical when you're working on figures. And so that's just something that kind of always stuck with me. So uh, for me, for training, I still do it. I just, uh, I work, I work out the anatomical drawings and work out the tendons and muscles and that kind of thing. And uh, so it's well suited for zombie material. Um, when you do the covers, what do you get to choose which ones you do, or are you just handed some to recreate? Uh, with most of the editors, the smart editors, they let me choose the covers that I want to do. And uh, so most of the time, I get to choose them. Uh, some editors are particular about what to do a specific thing. But most of the time, I get to choose. Them. Is there anything, any particular one that you uh, wanted to do? That I haven't done yet? Yeah. No, I'm chipping away at it, so I'm, I'm still doing it. So, uh, um, you know, are there any comics out there right now that you're enjoying? Any comics that I'm enjoying? Not any of the story current, current series that are running? Uh, I think. What, what the heck series do I like? Uh, well, I just uh, picked up this movie. Can you give me that Oz thing? So. I just picked up this yesterday. Yeah, this was Marvel's uh, Wonderful Wizard of Oz uh, by Scotty Young. And so I thought this was great. And uh, so I'm, just, I'm reading this right now. I think it's, 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 it's terrific. Yeah, I like this. It's got definitely good twists. Yeah, it's great. Great art, great coloring. The writing's real nice. Uh, are there, do you think there's any underrated characters that you think that you should get a push in the comic book? Do I think there are underrated characters? Now, there's too many comics out there for me to read everything. But, uh, so I'd be guessing, I'd be making a guess, and I'm, I'm going to guess that there are plenty of them. Probably more of them that uh, should get a push in art than there are characters that are getting pushed in. Don't get hurt. My personal favorite song. Moon Knight. Moon Knight. Okay. And, uh, I'm like actually glad that Batman is. Pretty much Marvel's yeah, Batman. Marvel's Batman. I'm just glad they've actually given him a push. Yeah. Yeah, cool, so. yeah they move from, uh, you know, they try. So Marvel's pretty good about, uh, they move from title to title, and they take characters, and they, every every so, maybe ten years or whatever, uh, seven years, they give it a push again and try it again. Put new writers behind it, new art, and, uh, you know, freshen the characters up, and let's see if they can find a market for it. So they're pretty good about that. Comments? Last anything? comments? Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm answering questions, so uh, do you have any last questions? <laughs> um, what, you, what are the one thing that you would uh, enjoy about coming to conventions? Well, uh, I love coming to conventions. Uh, for me, coming to conventions is uh, the reason you put all the hard work in, pays the rent, which is nice, buys the food, which is nice, but the, but the real reason uh, 
is to do something nice for fans who like the same kind of thing that you like. So I guess I look at it as we're all, we're all comic fans. And so it's nice when you work so real hard on something to get out there in the public and then see how it floats. Uh, you know, the, the conventions provide a, uh, an opportunity to, uh, to measure what the fans like and don't like that, that you're all the fortunes are like that. So, uh, and you get to meet them. And, uh, you travel around the different conventions and you see a lot of the same faces at different conventions. You give up a little, I'll say a little uh, uh, birds of a feather kind of uh, acquaintances with one another. And uh, that's a great thing. It's a good thing. I appreciate you taking time. Okay, my uh, pleasure. Good to meet you. I have one question for you. One question sure, for you. Yeah, the most generic question we can ask. Right. How who would you be <laughs> if you could be any superhero? Who would I be? Yep. Superhero. Anyone. Anyone. Dead or alive. I'd be this guy. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Yeah. All set. Signing off. Signing.